Today I'm traveling to Rotterdam to help out a colleague guitar player who is a first time fractal audio user and he's got the FM3. So let's buckle up and see what we can do today. Here I am at the place of Danny, the guitar player. Let's see if he's home. I hope so. Let's see. It's a bit dark, but yeah. Ah, hey, he's home. Here we yes. are, guys. Danny, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you we are going to help this guy today here with his fractal please, audio please, FM3. Please. Let's the jump into guru it. Guru is at my place. I'm so <laughs> grateful and thankful. Don't listen to him. <laughs> So, all right, the FM3 has been connected by USB and also XLR output. And we have X-Edit running. So I have just adjusted all the layouts, the preferred layouts. We'll see what's working. And let's get into some sounds. All right, let's start with an empty preset and with the quick build function. Let's do the input one. That's where the guitar is connected to. And output one, these are the XLRs. We use an amp and a cap, basic style, nothing too difficult and make the connection. Input one to output one. Let's call this preset basic. And the first scene will be a fender clean. Let's save it, it's always good. From fender cleans, I like the deluxe the Fender Deluxe Verb Vibrato with the drive on free and the level on around minus 10. That should be fine. Cap wise, it's easy. What fits good with it, just type in Deluxe and you'll get some options. And I prefer always the SM57A paired with the Royer 1 to 1 if necessary. Depends on your guitar. If you want a warmer signal, use the Royer 2. This is always a great function and make it ultra res. They really sound better. In preamp, I always take out 100 Hz. You don't need that low. It just disturbs the overall mix. And this should be fine.
then let's go ahead to scene two. Then he prefers a Mesa Boogie sound for his lead and overdrive sound. So let's take channel B both on amp and the cabinet channel. On the amp, let's take the let's try today the John Petrucci. It's a nice amp. And let's take the, the yellow shred, should be fine. Not much to do about this one except combine this with a good cabinet and for this I prefer the in factory 2 1005 from ML Sound Lab the SM57 in ultra rest and if you need more body take the 1006 the 121 Royer in ultra rest also the same cabinet from ML Sound Labs don't forget Mesa is heavy so 100 Hz definitely low cut and that should be fine cabinet wise. In the amp let's add some more treble, 7 is good. some effects a delay and a reverb I prefer them parallel to the amp block in all my 10-15 years of playing with fractal audio this fits to my workflow easy to create sound and gives me lots of flexibility for the delay let's take the dual delay on one side 1 8 and on the other side 1 quarter let's not forget to put the mix because we play parallel on 100% and level around minus 10 fits always. Very important, the bypass mode mute in and do the same thing also for your reverb block and choose whatever reverb you like. Then for the leads we have a drive block. Let's take the Tube Screamer, the T808 and put the drive on zero and the level around. 7.5 this gives a nice kick in the mids for the leads Thanks for watching and I have included a new backing track section on my YouTube channel. If you like to jam with backing tracks, please take a look at them. There are two versions, one with the rhythm guitars and one without, so only drum and bass. Don't forget to subscribe please now to help me get those first thousand subscribers and I'll do my best to create every week a new guitar related video for you. Thanks a lot, bye bye.